and also we are talking about another law. It is about the angular momentum, especially for the spinning objects. They have the angular momentum. In the past, we have demonstrated uh, the body turning in the space and the tumbling um, T-shaped bar and also the spinning top, etc. Is maybe you still remember Ye Guangfu used to do the body turning in the space by moving his arms. And today I will use a spinning top to make the move. So this is the spinning top. Now I would like to show you the first demonstration. So now the top is in a still position. So first I will try to flow up. Now I would like to change the angle of the top. When I change the direction of the top, I didn't move much. Now I would like to do a second demonstration. Now I would like to make a spinning top. So let's do it together. So first we would like to turn the spinning top. Here we go. Now you could see we have a very fast spinning top. Now I would like to do the second demonstration. So now I would like to change the direction of the spinning top. Now you could see I already moved my body. I have made two moves. Now I will go back. Very nice move. So in these two experiments, actually, Mr. Gui has already changed the direction of the top. So my question is, why you are able to move your body with a spinning top? That's a very good question. In high school, we learn from the physics class. So force will create thrust, and also it will change the way we move. And this will also change the angular momentum. So in the first condition, we could see the angular momentum is zero with a steel spinning top. When I change the spinning top, the angular momentum remains the same. And this will have a very minor impact to my arms. So I will now move under the first scenario. In my second demonstration, you can see we have very fast spinning top, and then we have a, a stronger angular momentum. So when I try to change the direction of the spinning top, it will create a much stronger angular momentum, and it will give a thrust to my body and my arm, and then we are able to make a turn of my body. So how can we use this law? In our space station, we are using the same law of conservation of angular momentum, then we are able to move around in the space station. So we can imagine that our body is the space station, and our hands and our arms and the spinning top, they are the starting device, which will help us to control our strength and also the thrust. So we are trying to create a stronger angular momentum. When we are changing the angular momentum, and then we are able to change the way how the space station works. And in the space station, we have set up a lot of devices to change the angular momentum. All of these devices has a weight for about hundreds of kilograms, but still it could help us to turn around in the space station. That is a very fantastic application.
But we have to pay attention to the generation of the angular momentum. For sometimes makes people to turn around, and also we have to consider if we want to move around the space station, we need to create a stronger angular momentum, which means we need a larger device. So this also reminded us that we should not just look at or consider the law of the conservation. We have to understand the reality and try to learn the nature of all of these laws and principles so that we can better make good use of those laws. For sometimes we, we are not able to understand the phenomenon, we are not able to understand the laws. And just now we also have the experiment to talk about the um, collision. This is also a demonstration of the momentum conservation. So please scan the QR code to follow us a public account. You could leave a comment. We are looking forward to hear from you.